Ladies and gents, we're here to talk to you today about the US ABU wet weather jackets and the previous woodland versions. Now we've just landed a small bunch of these but figured it's a pretty good opportunity to uh, have a bit of a rundown of how these work and the quality of US made surplus done right. Both of these are made from uh, waterproof tri-laminate fabrics. They are fully waterproof from the factory and these ones we've got in pretty fantastic condition. Now the ABU ones, the US Air Force introduced the M in battle uniform uh, in 2011 and despite it being introduced then they still continue to use a lot of uh, US woodland and other gear rolling out, even UCP as the army took the, the lion's share of gear. And eventually they transitioned to OCP or the more commonly known as multicam in 2018. But uh, you'll still find that a lot of their wet weather gear is in use today because it's incredibly well made and probably more as well due to budget constraints because it's not cheap to make these. The ABU ones tend to be in pretty fantastic condition. Uh, being the Air Force, they don't tend to see as much groundwork. Um, <laughs> insert all your Air Force jokes there, but uh, funnily enough, as you'll see here, doing a bit of a uh, water test just with one of the ones off the shelf. We haven't cherry picked any of these, but the ABU ones completely passed with flying colours. Uh, they beaded all the water off instantaneously. The woodland one uh, was still very waterproof to a certain extent. Um, you can see that some of the water droplets are still kind of staying on there. And that's a really good point for surplus. Um, by no means is this buggered as we'd say down here, down under, but uh, it's keeping the water out, but if that stage pulled long enough, it will come through. Does that mean it's stuff though? No. What you normally should do with a military surplus is give it a bit of a, say, nick wax or something like that to refresh it and give extra longevity. If things start to delaminate, you'll see that by having um, almost like veins kind of running through uh, the inside or the outside of the fabric. That's where it's coming apart, that's where it starts actually becoming untreatable. But in this case, these are pretty excellent condition as far as surplus goes and, and wet weather gear. And for this type of thing for the Gore-Tex equivalent, incredibly cost effective. Now the cool thing about the ABU ones, uh, you can kind of see uh, the improvements over the, the years or decades between the woodland and the ABU. Woodland ones are still fantastic, but the hoods don't roll into anything. They're just always sitting there, sitting open. Something that the ABU has is waterproof sealed zips. So these will stop water coming through. Um, whereas the old woodland ones does not, just has the good old storm flap. But again, for the most part, I'd still trust these and I've actually used some of these woodland ones myself. Again, that's usually more than enough. But for if you're absolutely in the shit, uh, the ABU ones are fantastic because they've got those seal zippers there. One thing that's common throughout both the woodland and the ABU though is fully adjustable Velcro or hook and loop, shall we say. Adjustable cuffs, uh, you also got shoulder pockets, both opening and closing the same way. They both have uh, armpit uh, zippers to be able to allow your body to breathe while still maintaining that undercover uh, this as well, because that's one thing all, with all wet weathers is even if they say Gore-Tex is breathable, obviously it's a hard shell. Um, there's only a certain amount of breathing that they'll do. So having having those is a fantastic uh, feature. Air Force One has a rank bullet, not that uh, most of you will care about those, uh, but it's also got um, breast pockets here, again with waterproof uh, seal tape zips. And interestingly, it's got some side pockets. These have nothing, like they've got no Velcro, they've got no zips to um, seal that. Um, having said that, it's still the exact same trilaminate underneath there, so even if you have rain coming in sideways, you're in a monsoon, it might fill that pocket up with water, but um, it's one interesting uh, omission that they kind of did with those. And they've got an outside pocket as well with the standard uh, hook and loop opening. Reinforced elbows as well. Needless to say, the hoods are also fully adjustable on both. Interestingly, there's different seal tapes used, uh, one called Gore Seam on some of these ABU ones. Some of them have no kind of branding on them at all. But again, the seal tapes are there in fantastic condition. Yeah, these are a fantastic example of good quality US surplus and I couldn't recommend these enough. But funnily enough, they're on our website. There is only a small batch, so I imagine they'll go very quickly. But uh, if you do want a really good quality outdoor weather system, these are a fantastic choice. So come check them out in Army and Outdoors.